So you all know Isnand, who is this guy who does nothing but clickbait, nothing but fake videos, and it gets, it gets like repetitive every single time Isnand uploads a fake video about something that's not even true. Like seriously, he has gone way too far with his content because he just keeps faking videos. It doesn't even explain that they're just skits. Like seriously, he never ever makes a video about something true. He just wants to get views and money by just faking his videos. But anyways, um, today I'm just gonna like, you know, do a reaction to um, some of his videos. And um, most of them are pretty bad. And yeah, Isnand is like one of the worst YouTubers on YouTube because he's like fake. He's just clickbait and he doesn't even like, he, he never like gets phones to anybody. Like whenever he fakes iPhone giveaway videos, you can obviously tell it's fake because you never get your iPhone. But anyways, um, I'm gonna react to some videos that he made and let's see if they're um, pretty bad. Alright, well that's true, but not the iPhone 12 yet. No, it's not. I don't have to watch until the end to see what the phone looks like. I only know it's not even the iPhone 12. It's like a previous generation. Like probably the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 10. Also, what kind of music is playing? Like, what kind of music is that? Okay, well, honestly, that could be the iPhone 12 design, but you do not have the iPhone 12. You're just, you're just clickbaiting, isn't it? Okay, well, that's either iPhone 11 or iPhone 10 with the iPhone 11 camera sticker. You see, he just wants subscribers only. Okay, well, obviously, isn't I'm not gonna win any of iPhones because you don't even make real iPhone giveaways, you just make clickbait ones. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go to the next video anyway because I don't want to watch this. Okay, so this is the iPhone SC video of him unboxing. A different phone, like a different generation, like the iPhone 8 or 7, instead of an iPhone SE. Like, seriously, this is what he does. He just makes his videos. And look at that. Like, there's a there's like a silver play button in the background. How did he get that? I wonder how. But as you guys can see, there's no phone. Why are you showing, like, you don't have to show the parts. Like, should you just show the like the iPhone if you're doing an iPhone oh, unboxing? It looks like the iPhone 8 box, guys. That's because it is the iPhone 8. There it is. That's like that's really like an iPhone Whoa, 8 box. And look, look at that. The oh, Apple logo is not even in the middle. Like that, it's like upwards the towards the camera. And on the iPhone I see, the logo's in the middle. Okay. But on the 8, I, the Apple cool. logo is like that. So that's obviously that's a different like generation. Not the iPhone SE. Yeah, I can see that. The iPhone 8 and iPhone 11 don't really compare in terms of their designs. Well, I mean, they could be like the same size. I mean, there are plenty of like similarities between every single iPhone. But, like, seriously, like, but still, like, why are you showing the iPhone 8? Where's the iPhone SE? It's already, like, you know, being, like, published. Like, people are getting the iPhone SC, and you're just making this quick video of you unboxing the iPhone 8. Oh, next video. So as you can tell, most of the videos are just bad. But anyways, on next video, please. I don't have to watch until the end to win an iPhone. And in fact, you can't even win an iPhone because you do quick giveaways. This is seriously just quick bait. What is special about like winning to like the end of the video? Like, is there a surprise? You just get the iPhone automatically, or do you just not get an iPhone because he's just making his videos? Matter of fact, how does he have all the money to afford these iPhones? Like, seriously, how much money does he have in his bank account? What is his net worth? I really want to know. What is, I want. I want to know. I really want to know what his net worth is. 
how do you win? Like, you do like a contest? Well, honestly, a contest would be. Like and subscribe. Okay, really? You have to like and subscribe or do other things that he tells you to do to win the iPhone? Just look at those iPhone boxes. They can pretty much tell that he has a lot of iPhones. I don't have to watch until the end of the freaking video to win the iPhone. Just like doing a competition with whoever, um, whoever, like, I don't know, gets out the most shadow to you, just gets a random iPhone, I don't know, but anyways, next video. Including, we're going to be looking at Mooks at the end of the video. Yes, guys, Mooks fell off a ride, you guys got No, he did not. Got to see, guys, you just Okay, well, obviously, Mooks should not also fall off a roller coaster. Like, seriously, if Mods actually fell off a roller coaster, then he would possibly be, um, <clears throat> dead, I guess. But, apparently, the Nunnery was fake, and as of, you know, today, uh, obviously, Mods is still alive. So, why would you think that Mods fell off a roller coaster? And besides, he doesn't even fall off one. I guess, like, he just feels sick after he went on one. Anyways, next video, because I just want to, like, see, like, the first part of the, um, the Mords video when he just clickbait, he just clickbaits everybody by just saying that Mords fell off a roller coaster when he really didn't. Anyways, next video, please. The iPhone SE 2 is in this box. No, it is not. This is, like, I think this video is before the iPhone SE even came out. Whatever you guys call it, an iPhone SE 2. Or it's nine. called the guys, iPhone SC. Like, box. I wish it could be like called the iPhone SC too, but that's just it's just iPhone SC, just like the previous iPhone SC. You cannot box it because this video is like like before the iPhone SC came out. Like, like the iPhone SC of 2020. Like this video came out before the iPhone SC of 2020 came out. To like, you know, um, came out to be like published and be like given to like people if people pay for the iPhone SC if they want it. You see, this is what he does. He just does clickbait and like. Like, why? Like, so I wonder there, guys, what kind of country is from. Right like, now, he might be from the USA, guys, but like, it just looks like he's Spanish a little bit, judging by, um, judging by his voice. Like, he, it kind of looks like he's like a little bit like half American and half like American Spanish or whatever you want to call it. Like, whatever you want to call it, Spanish is in America, I guess. Anyways, um, another video, please. Fans and subscribers meeting unspeakable in real life, and the time when unspeakable was being extremely mean to fans. Oh my goodness, well, really? Right now, so you think you that unspeakable, who is the guy who likes to meet his subscribers, is rude or mean or whatever you want to call it? Like seriously, this video is clickbait because I'm pretty sure that Unspeakable never insulted or was rude to his fans. And I wonder whenever, um, um, whenever when um Unspeakable meets his fans, he basically is not rude to them. He just like you know says hi to the fans and be nice and just be nice to them. Like I'm pretty sure that Unspeakable. Unspeakable is like always okay, nice so, yo, to his fans. He just texted me. He said that he's shipping a box to my house with a bunch of valuables. Okay. We have one hour to open this box. We don't open okay, it. Okay, well, I guess it's like the so, ten thousand dollar video. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll split the profit. Okay. There's nothing like. There's nothing rude with Unspeakable. Um, saying hi to his fans. Like he's just being nice to them. Like. What is, like, where is the part where he's, like, not acting as nice as the two guys thought he would be? Like, I guess there, like, there's two guys, or, like, fans, or something? Alright, um, alright, I'm gonna do another video. So today we're gonna be looking at this versus Oh my game. goodness, Most even the thumbnail was fake. Like, like seriously. You think Unspeakable 
winning oh, so it's like sis versus bro. I don't even know if Unspeakable even knows what sis versus bro is. Yeah, see like the like button? He just wants likes on his videos because he just likes to do clickbait. That's all he does. He always does clickbait. He's always like showing his random footage of like this random game where you jump on trucks or something. Why don't he does videos like this? Like, I wonder what kind of game it is. Like, it's like a game where you jump on trucks. Me and my friends got massive bouncy houses and we're gonna play last to leave the bouncy house. The challenge is super simple. So, last to leave whatever the, the bouncy house is, alright? Wins. Whatever value of money they get. So I guess we're doing a challenge. Out of the challenge. Well, hold up. Before we bounce into today's video, okay, I don't, I don't see any size of unspeakable and shorting shits for subscribe. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. So um, thank you guys for watching. And um, if you watched this video, please report Island for misleading and spamming. Because Island is nothing but clickbait. Because all he does is just fake his videos and try to make fans believe that the things he talks about really happens. Like, you can't just joke around about unspeakable being rude to his fans or just faking the iPhone 12 stuff. And he even does fake iPhone giveaways. Like, seriously. He, he doesn't even, like, know how to, like, make the right type of videos. And he's, like... And he's like at 100,000 subscribers. Well, more than that, but 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 really, like he doesn't deserve a play button. You know what he really deserves? A lot of dislikes because his videos are clickbait. But anyways, um, I'll see you in another video. So um, yeah, bye.